Shabbat Shalom, good Shabbos everyone. I am standing in the company of all of our past presidents, meaning these are the plaques of all of our past presidents. And it's appropriate because this Friday night we are going to be installing our new president, Michael Shore. And as this plaque says, these presidents have served the cause of Judaism with great devotion and zeal. And that is so true. It's an awesome responsibility to be president of a synagogue. Ask any president of a synagogue. Ask Moses. He led 600,000 temple presidents through the wilderness. I'll tell you when to laugh. In any case, it's, it is appropriate as well because we are reading in Torah about Korach, about the great rebellion against the leader Moses. The people are very frustrated. They understand that they have to wander yet another 38 years, and they're whining, and they're grumbling, and they attack the character of Moses. They say, we want to go back to Egypt. Who appointed you the leader anyway? Take us to our land, and all dissension will stop. And Moses understands all of this. But then what happens? Korak and all of his followers are swallowed up by the earth. And the people see this as they saw the Red Sea parting, as they saw Moses giving the law on Mount Sinai. They saw all of these miracles and yet they revert to their ways of complaining and whining. Moses says, I can take anything except not the whining. So what is happening here is that if you are a disbeliever, you can see all kinds of miracles, big miracles, and yet you're still not convinced. And yet there are those among us who understand that miracles are all around us. They see the extraordinary in the ordinary. In fact, I just spoke to a woman, one of our members today. She is blind, but she went to her grandson's graduation and she said, I saw everything. It was such a beautiful event. Thank you, God, for allowing me to experience my grandson's graduation. She sees that every day the miracles are all around us. So join us this Friday night. We are going to be installing Michael. And he follows all of these presidents. I thought I'd say just a word this is our first president, Charles Rudd. He served for three years. Actually, I take that back, he served for one year. <laughs> but I, I met Charles Rudd, he was called Stretch. He was an amazing basketball player. He was a magistrate and they called him Stretch. He went to his Orthodox rabbi and he says, I'm involved in a new synagogue and it's reform. And his Orthodox rabbi, Rabbi, Naftali Riff said to him, you know what? There's a need for a different approach in this area as well. I, I support you in it. I bless you in your endeavors. And I go through all the presidents. My first president was Arthur Pierce. And you're gonna hear Michael's story this Friday night, how he came to be president. And you can honor him his executive board, board of trustees, when you honor him and all of our leaders, you honor yourselves. It's so good to be part of Temple Emmanuel. We look forward to a great evening and a great new year.